as I said before, I am in the process of making some major, major changes with my equipment. Number one, I'm changing out my beloved iPad Pro. Had this guy for a while, had it since 2018. It's one of the best purchases and the worst purchases I ever made. Because I have, if I had done the research, I would have realized that if I had waited eight more months, I would have had a newer machine and I wouldn't have to invest in what I just did. This is probably, no, this is absolutely the most expensive mobile device I've ever purchased in my entire freaking life. Hello, my name is Carlton. This is my channel that I either put a whole bunch of junk on or I only put tech stuff on, but this is mainly for you guys and gals who wanted to see what I was doing and, oh, they got a thing here. They got a little, I don't have to rip open the box. Um, oh, um, this is what it is. This is an iPad Pro. Not just an iPad Pro. This is the iPad Pro with, oh, look at that. It just kind of comes in a little contraption with, I throw it over the board now, the M1 chip. Is it upside down? I think it's upside down. Is it upside down? It's upside down. There you go. Finally, I have this guy here. It is... Remarkably smaller than the last. <laughs> wow. Are you sure this is a 12.9 inch? It is. Okay, okay. You have to excuse my uh, appearance. Yeah, it's um, it's a 12.9 inch, fifth generation. One terabyte. So I have 16 gigabytes of storage. No, 16 gigabytes of RAM in here. One terabyte of storage. I really needed this. Oh, I really needed this here. So you have to excuse my appearance. I've been outside doing yard work. So I'm wearing a dirty shirt right now. This is, the, this is that shirt that I designed a million years ago when I was a creative person. So I didn't just get this here. I also got the pencil. This was another unboxing on a sunnier day. And if you flip this guy open and you open it up, oh, I just dropped it. You'll see here, I have the pencil. On it, it says C.F. Gamble. You know what that means. The end. So I gotta get this open here. I've got, uh, I still do not have to use my karambit. I actually am, the only disappointment I have right now is I can't use my karambit. You want me to pull here, there's a lever, right there. Oh, it just peels the plastic. I like this, I like this. I would never buy another one of these here in this decade. Never again. Never again will I buy another one of these here. This is the third one and it was it was not 100% intentional, but I, I needed it after looking at the specs and seeing that this really was next generation. I'm hopping a generation. They literally just made this a few days ago. Does it smell like China on the inside? Does it smell like the, the factory? How do you get this open? Okay, hang on. Oh, this is that suction thing. Come on, come on, oh my God. Yeah, so we're outside instead of being inside. So you gotta hear the birds, you gotta hear the bugs, you gotta hear the cars racing up and down the road because everybody believes it's 55 miles per hour here. It's not. Today feels like a nice, perfect day. And just to let you know, although I really wanted gold, I could not get gold again. So I got space gray. It's the best that I can do because they don't make what I really, really want. So I'm going to lift this here. You can see this is the, oh, there's an ant in there. Freaking ants. Come on, man. Go. <laughs> ah! Get out of my box. Jesus, it's so thin. It's dense. It's so thin. It's so dense. So we have more flaps on here. I peel this back here, and you can't see this, but I can see it. It literally says my whole name, and then it has my creation station. This thing is really dense. It, it feels so dense. So this is it. Michael Jackson style. This is it. So I'm going to hit the button on the top. I think it's going to do nothing. I think I have to hit two buttons to make it turn on. 
I got space gray. Fingerprints all over the place now because of me. Because I'm touching it. Um, I think this is just the unboxing. I've got a lot of adjustments I got to do to it. I've got to put my data on here. Then I got to ship mine out. But this is a size comparison between the two. That's a size comparison. This is, this new machine is, it's shorter because it doesn't have a bezel. So, the exact same thing happened to me last time. I had to plug it in to get it to kickstart. It works, I know it does. You'll see it later on. Oh my God, it's so dense. But oh, wait, wait, there's more. Look, if I'm gonna ride with this machine for a long time, the way I wanna ride with this machine, it's gotta work for me and I need to carry it so it doesn't get scratched, dinged, and all the other stuff. So, as usual, I went out and got something that is um, a matte finish from I Cares or whatever. I've had these guys before, they're actually on my iPad right now, and it feels almost like paper close enough to me and it doesn't cause a lot of wear and tear on the pencil so along with the pencil I did get one more thing here I called I actually I emailed the guys in um, Columbia and I said hey um, I'm thinking of replacing my iPad can you guys um, make me another case? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. And I was like, you know, but I would love for you to make one little small modification if you could. If you could, could you make the case blue? Now, the lighting just went bad. There's a lot of clouds over us and everything else. You can't see how blue this is. And the reason I wanted it blue because I wanted something that was similar to my Mustang. I'm bringing this a little bit closer here so you can see it. I'm putting the red behind it. This guy is actually blue. It is designed to fit my new machine. Does it fit? Oh my God, it fits perfectly. It now has a brand new home. This is how we will be rolling with this machine here. Um, this is the Draftman 2, I believe. I absolutely love this here because it has a place to put your, you know, that Apple Pencil costs $130. Because it costs $130, you don't want to lose this thing too often. You always want to find it. So that's one of the reasons why I really wanted this in blue. Because um, I like the color blue. It reminds me of the Mustang. And I really wanted this little pencil sleeve here because the pencil sleeve really helps me keep track of something that I can lose often. So that is the unboxing of the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2021 and if you look over here dropped it that's what happens when you're outside this is the speed charger that comes with it I'm trying to get a better light there we go this is the speed charger that comes with it this is the um, USB 4 forward slash um, Bluetooth no Thunderbolt cable i'm assuming this is thunderbolt i'm not 100 sure but that's a thunderbolt port that's in there oh and airplanes you're gonna get airplanes too I, I really do not care because now i have the thing i've been waiting for all day and watching it go through customs and all the other stuff like three freaking times not it, it, it's not a good feeling you know i hate to say this here but in the past when I've ordered stuff from from Apple, the technology wasn't there to track it at every little stage. It was basically jumped from one place to another. Now the new, the newer system from UPS allows you to visually see the information more. And I think it gave me more information than I've ever had before. Because I could even see when the agencies are, are touching it. Or at least the, the, the big crate that it comes in with all the other guys inside of it. And it makes you nervous because you think that it's your product that's being examined or released and all the other things. I think it was better before and maybe UPS should think about having a consumer and an advanced consumer button so you can see a little bit less. 
because I knew that my machine got stuck in Alaska. It um, it was late for a flight. I think it it, it took this the second flight out, and it still got um, to New York just in time, so I can still get it today. It, it pushed back my my window from one o'clock to three thirty-five. A little scary seeing all of that and as a worker who used to work there a long time ago i wasn't able to see all those those stops so that's 10 minutes that's me talking about the ipad pro um this is just the unboxing i'm gonna do probably another video later on and yap about some more abstract stuff but for now i need to work on getting rid of my old one um it's gonna go back to apple and give me 355 in credit for it. And I can use that to basically get new accessories. That's what I'm basically going to use this for is to get a, another adapter, a few more cables because I, I got to have one upstairs, downstairs at the office, and possibly a shorty for my backpack in case I'm traveling. Whew. So I know someone's going to ask me, what am I going to do with the other case that I have? What am I gonna do with my old Apple Pencil? Believe it or not, my mom actually has um, my very first iPad Pro, which is a twin of this, but it's the first generation with less storage space. So she's gonna end up inheriting a brand new leather case with my initials on it. And she's gonna end up getting um, the Pencil, which for some odd reason still works. A lot of people have complained that their, theirs has broken. Mine is still working for some odd and crazy reason. Um, one more thing about the pencil. I did discover that you guys are 100% correct. When you buy the new Apple pencils, you do not get extra tips. So that's going to be one of the first things that I um, go out and buy for myself is a, an additional two or however many it comes um, tips for my Apple pencil because you will wear them down after a couple years. That I do know. So that is the end of this video. And again, I want to um, say you guys and gals have a good time. And I will probably put some um, detailed photos at the very end. Later.